Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is, what, about 1400 hours on Thursday, December 15th, 2011. I'm hanging out with my very good friend Enos and we have this. Check this out. We got these in donation yesterday. We have a, they're both Hewlett Packards. I have a 4204A oscillator, 10 megahertz to, or 10 hertz to 1 megahertz. And I have a 5246L electronic counter and check this out. Nixie tubes. I have no idea what that frequency is. I think that's just random when it starts up. Okay, so uh, that's on. And it works. Can go ahead and put that in? Yeah, I'll, I'll take this end. You take that end. AC down here. We're, we're, we're doing science to it. You're a. Plug's a bit jank. Probably why they had the end cut off. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how sensitive it's in it there. is. All right, I'll turn that way down. I'll turn the amplitude way down. This is so cool. This this may replace our old Nixie tube counter, which I really got to get working. Uh, zero. Okay, you set for one hertz there. You have to give it up over 10 for this, aren't we? No, this is, uh, well, I've got over a time base down here. 0.2. Yeah, but that's the frequency converter. I think this is a separate box. I think this is like an add-in module. Okay. Um, especially since we've got the input down here. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're set to a one millisecond, or, yeah, 0.1 millisecond time base. Let's go to 0.1 second time base and we've got one hertz there so here watch we're at 10 hertz there 1.1 second here so we should count set to frequency I have no idea what the hell I'm doing and crank up the amplitude you just flip my, my gate hey hang on oh Internal my gate lights fl flickering Stuff's happening. It's confused. No, the gate flickers and that says it's 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 saying that we're at, you know, a little bit over megahertz, but you know, hey, it's something. Alright. So um, there's some time base in the back here, see what Yeah, go ahead. Alright, well it's doing something. Oh hey, time internal. Yeah, so I go to frequency. Well, it does stuff, and the Nixie tubes work. What I want is to get this just counting like crazy. So let's go up here and set this to 100 hertz. Okay. And go down here to a millisecond. We got output on the meter. Now. We got output on the meter. I'll crank that up a bit. So we've got, well, we've got one and a half volts output there. So a signal input there. Frequency? No, I don't want frequency. Yeah, I want frequency. Um, Not sure which of the outputs to go to here. I grab a red one and a black one. Got a red one and a black one. It says guard. Uh, I tried this one and that one. Yeah. And I'd put your tip down the red. Squeak, squeak. We're doing science, man. If this thing works, I'm going to be tickled. There, we're getting blinks on the gate. Okay, That's yeah, good. I'm getting blinks on the gate. Well, this set at 100 over. hertz. Yeah, but I, I turned it. So. Okay, we're doing stuff. And it's saying the frequency is, yeah, it's, I'm getting a one thing, so. I 
I wonder if I can make it work instead of as a frequency counter as a, a counter. And it's changing by an order of magnitude every time I move this. So that's 0.1 milliseconds and it's getting it. You should get a shot of it from the side here so you can see all the different lines coming on and off. That's so cool. It's so beautiful. I love Nixie tubes. Wonder if we can find a manual for this bad boy somewhere. Oh, I'm sure that there's documentation available on the internet. Let's try um, let's go up to a kilohertz. Okay, that's a kilohertz. One hundred kilohertz input. Huh. I'm just I'm getting the same noise no matter where this is set to. Yeah. So I think that's background noise. That, that could be room noise for all I know. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a decimal point or what is that? That that's a decimal point, and you can see there's the megahertz there and kilohertz there. Well right now your generator's zero. Yeah, my generator's putting out zero up here, so I shouldn't be getting anything down here. That's that's noise. I don't know. We have to learn about it. Right now, there's some like old guy out there who's jumping up and down screaming, going, You're doing it wrong! You're a hack! Get off the internet! You don't know anything! Ah! I've been playing with the thing for a whole ten minutes now. I don't know anything about it. But we'll figure it out. It's cool. And Enos is happy. Are you excited, Enos? Yeah. We got Nixie tubes. We've got an unmarked switch here. Unmarked switch. I'm not oh. sure what that. That's a that's a mic thing. Yeah, because it'd be so useful to put a microphone on here. It might be. An AM generator or something? It, it, well, no. What I'm thinking is uh, this it came out of a TV station. So who knows what custom hackage they've done to it to make it work for their own particular stuff. Well, if they did hack it in there, they did a pretty good job. Everything's nice and square. The switch has been replaced. These are it's proper engineers, man. Probably not a stocker switch. Okay. But yeah, there are pencil marks the on there. I want to know what the IMC is down here. One megacycle. Oh, that's a one. Okay, yeah. It might be an ex. That might be an oscillator output. External time base. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's got the internal and external. Yep. Okay. Cool. We want it on internal. Let's see what storage does. No. Um, here, let me turn it on. Did it just divide by zero? Um, no, it says 78780. Oh, it's changing. No, it's zero. It reset to nothing. And the gate's flickering. Well, you didn't have to toggle anything to make No, it. I did that all the time. But it might do that on its own anyway. I'm just impatient and toggled it the last time. See, you know what we need? We need a really good Geiger tube. <laughs> Does it go up that high? No, we just get a Geiger tube and let this sit here and count particles of like background cosmic radiation and stuff. Wherever would we find an uh, old uh, field meter or something like I have that? no idea, but I'll bet just at the thought of that right now, there's a gentleman not too far from here named Tracy who's squealing with happy. So we'll come back to this with more later. All right, so on Tuesday, we got a massive donation from WZZM13. On 
No, that was Wednesday. On Thursday, we got a massive donation from WOD Channel 8. Hmm. So I, I've dealt with, already this week, I've dealt with two heads of engineering for television stations. And today, yeah. Channel 17's very own. I think it's a virus. WXMI. It's a virus going around. <laughs> this, is, this is Dale, <laughs> who is head of engineering for Channel 17, who's an awesome guy and a regular down here. Yeah. So you're, you're bringing us slightly waterlogged monitors and computers. Yeah, I also, Do all you guys yeah. use Dells? Yeah. It's a thing. All yeah. the stations use Dells. Yeah. We get tons of them. So, cool. See, I have plenty of spare parts. All right. I got some stuff to show you while okay. you're here real quick. Okay. Go. I got, he's, he's in a hurry, so I got to yeah. go, but stick around. Let's see. So, you, you try running this down some really low frequency and feed it in there? And yeah. Like, okay. like we, we cranked it down to like, you know, one hertz. Did the needle come up like it's alive? Yeah. Yeah, we've we've had the needle move a couple times. And I don't know what like there's guard on here, so I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that's uh, ground and one yeah, of these is hot. Well, the guard this is, is for a balanced input. So okay. like, if you want to run one side grounded, you you normally would have that link up there. Ah and now we know why there's three. Yeah. Yeah, both are this is like a balanced. It's for balanced or unbalanced, yeah. okay. Okay. See, we're learning stuff. Um, huh. One hurts. There's a possibility that it's broke. There is, oh, there's a very, very <laughs> high possibility that it's broke. I mean, we, we did get it out of the junk pile, so I mean, if yeah. it doesn't work, I'm not all surprised. This thing was sitting on a bottom shelf, tucked away in the way back of Channel 8 storage closet, yeah. so. I can bring in one of my little VFOs and we can hook it up. Yeah. And we've got know. oscillators. I've, I've, we've got an oscillator with a Rubens tube. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's, yeah. Oh. And we can hook, we should be able to hook this up to a speaker because it'll put out three volts. So this should work with a speaker and generate a tone. Yeah. And that's easy to test that. Yeah, without fiddling with it, I don't, I can't, I can't, okay. I have not used this instrument in my life. No, never. So. <laughs> I just figured I'd let you have a look at it because we were playing with it and I thought yeah. you might have some insight. I think you're on the right track. This will have no function for you unless you want to look at microwave frequencies. Yeah, we're, the, the gigahertz thing is pretty useless, but the other stuff is pretty nifty. And we might be able to do some microwave frequency stuff in playing with Wi-Fi. That's 2.4 gigahertz. You can really, go really slow with the thing. Uh, you can change your time base with the uh, same right here. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah closer to Oh, really? So you guys are you're miles ahead of me already. Well, we've we've got a whole ten minutes of tinkering with it instead of yeah. your two. So yeah. This is we just think it's really cool yeah. simply because it has Nixie tubes and that makes it art. And I wanted to get it displaying the Nixie tubes. So if I can have it counting stuff, that makes it cool. We didn't try DC because we're using an AC input, so. Well, the pulses are really. Hmm. What happened with this? Did it just go dead? Uh, if it doesn't see the ground there, does it shut really? off? I, I don't know, I'm just grasping here. Yeah. yeah, we're totally making this up as we go along. smart enough to try and protect itself or if it's not putting out enough to actually yeah, have a problem. I think so I think it's uh... If you have another oscillator, that's really I have other it. oscillators, yeah. I'd start with one known entity. Right? Yeah. Two yeah. unknown. Oh, it takes all the fun out of it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll grab a pair of speakers and the, the uh, tone generator that we're using on the Rubens tube, and we'll bring those in here and check them out. Yeah, that would be my tag. All right. Get one known MC so you're not fighting all right. two unknowns. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. The roof leak is going full tilt in the high-voltage lab again.
Like this whole puddle is like just the past 24 hours. You can, you can see the drips. You can't, you can't see the falling water which is coming in a whole line from right up around this hole. It's a line about five feet long. But you can see it where it hits. It's, it is actively raining in the high voltage lab in three different spots. I've got it over here, I've got it over there, I got one over there. None of it's damaging to equipment or anything at this stage, but it's still, it's, it, it, it's water in a high voltage lab. And this is, this is a combination of just crap roof and bad contractor. And man, <laughs> ah. Omni's sporting her awesome new sweater today. Hi. What you doing, Moose? Checking the nails. My With your awesome metal detector. Magnet on a stick? Yes. Hard drive magnet? Yes. <laughs> you laugh, it works great. And you found one. high-tech system of a magnet on a stick and a crayon. Works really well. Hey, man, that, that's you cool. You always need something fancy. And it's easy to store. <laughs> Dog approves. For the record, the sweater was not my idea. I, I wouldn't do that to her. I love that dog. How you guys doing? All right. I'm working with Dave. Sure, I heard you guys banging. Figured I'd come over and get some video and show the people what you're doing. Because YouTube wants to know.
What you doing, Batman? Playing the paint bear. This is the excitement that is your day? Yeah. Amy sorting bolts. Actually, washers. Oh, okay. Washer sorting. All right, Joe. What do you got? You got to okay. show that the, the, it's uh, just my hand under there too. Okay, we sell this product. It's a carbon fiber blanket. And this is your day job? This is my day job. Okay. It's used in body shops for throwing on upholstery and, and to keep weld spatter from damaging upholstery and, you know, separating the heat from where you don't want heat. Okay. Anyway, it's nice, soft, pliable, you know. Yay! Not fiberglass. Yeah, it doesn't itch or anything like that. It's a carbon fiber blanket. Okay. And one of the cool little demos is melting a penny in somebody's hand. And so Amy... So you have Amy... Amy volunteered. Yes, I've ne never and there's, done this And there's, there's nothing... Yes. Amy volunteered okay. to melt a penny in her hand. Oh man, you're gonna bleed. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and it will get warm, but it's anyway. Uh, we have heat going to the penny. We're feeling warm it's a little bit. There is a molten penny in your hand. You can hold the blanket, and just pour the penny off. You do it for a cool. That's so cool. Aerogel. Uh, what is that? It's a uh, carbon fiber. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And Joe's no residual Joe's selling these today. as a geek group fundraiser to help no raise money for the group. Yeah. yeah. It feels a little. It feels a little sweaty. That's what it is. <laughs> and it's just really cool. So if somebody's doing torching or soldering, you can use this on your bench and no. solder on it. It just is a good heat shield for plumbing work. It's pretty cool. Welding. Yeah. yeah. All kinds of stuff. And so Liz will, Moose will be selling this. Uh, yeah, it'll be on foot. the website. We sell it by six foot wide, by unlimited length, but you can get. We're, we're going to be carving them down to square One foot. foot. Square yeah. is handy for a workshop. Yeah, okay. And you'll be able to get these soon on the Geek Group website. In progress on Stomper, um, I've got the base unit together. I've got to go tomorrow and get pipe to match the hole diameters, so I'm going to be working on that. In other news, Cleo's back with a shiny clean engine bay. I really need to get one of these powder coated and make it nice and pretty. But uh, fix the uh, valve cover gasket leak, and I'm going to see if that's the only leak on the engine. I'm pretty sure it's not, but we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. And that is the terribly exciting, amazing day that we had today. I know it was just riveting, wasn't it? So you guys have fun. I want you to check out um, the kick -a campaign that we're putting together. You're going to see this in the next video coming out. They're working on a voiceover for it right now. But we're doing a thing called the kick -a thing. Um, we did it. We started the whole idea like a year ago or so, and it, it really it caught on. It's a good thing. It's micro donations. And what it is is a way for everybody to contribute a little bit. And you can do donations. It's, it's, it's specifically the antithesis of things like the big corporate grants and things like that. This is like, you know, everybody, you can donate 50 cents or five bucks or something like that. It's a little tiny donations, it's micro donations. And if we get enough of them, they add up to be really big donations. And that lets us do some pretty impressive stuff. That's the idea. So you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, you're not, and I'll see you next time.